Hi guys, welcome back to this Rocky D Days again with the second tutorial in this series and today I'll be talking about circles and ellipses which are again very very simple and you can create them just fast. So over here on the screen you can see the black square which I've created in the last video. So let's have a brief overview. So we pasted the script which handles all the data which comes from the JS library whose link we can find on CDN and the way to go about it is finding it on CDN.js you can do it quick I have also posted it in the description bar in the YouTube video I'll post this as well in this video too so after that you create a division element to hold your SVG files you create a division element give it an ID whatever you like to call it I put it up as create and you can call it anything so after that make sure you go to the javascript file and then go ahead and create a variable called draw in which you will invoke the function called svg which will take the attribute called create which is nothing but the id of the element in which this svg is going it's, it's totally simple you don't have to worry about anything else and you can give the optional size if you don't give it it'll uh, resort to a default option which is about 150 in my experience I'm I'm not sure about the exact dimensions though but it is healthy practice to give a size for this variable called draw so that you know you can you know how big your drawing board is every time after that you go ahead and create a variable called rect which is you can obviously you can change it to anything called rect 23 and you can see that it is it's still working so it's up to you it's just a way to call your rectangle something so i call it rect which is the standard way to refer to a rectangle so after that you equate it to draw dot rect and draw is the same variable which holds your drawing board so inside the drawing board you're creating a rect this cannot be changed this has to be rect inside which you give the you give the size you give the height you give the width followed by the height so now you can see that once i have increased it to 1000 comma 100 we can see that the rectangle is extending in its width uh, after i've given it as 500 so i'll give it 200 comma 100 okay so this tutorial is about circles and ellipses which are pretty easy which are as easy as giving uh, creating a rectangle perhaps circle is much simpler because you provide only one one dimension which is its diameter so what you do is you go ahead and quickly erase this let us erase this and create a variable called circle you type out draw dot circle in which you feed in the values all right so it's so simple as you can see you have a nice circle over here so as you can see that was simple so similarly you can go ahead and create a uh, create an ellipse as well which is simply creating an ellipse this way variable ellipse is equal to draw dot ellipse in which you will feed this time there are two dimensions that need to be fed which are height and width of course it's width followed by height I'm sorry about the order over there so 300 comma 100 all right so you can see that you have a lovely ellipse over here which you can obviously color fill it with a nice color and I'll tell you guys in the next video how to give colors in the attributes. So until then, see ya. And share the video, like, comment and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.